Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Enum in Apex. So if you want to learn something new and uh, this is the real time example I'm going to show you. Okay, so you can watch this video until end. Also, you can subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So and don't skip any part of this video. Okay, I request you to all. So let's get started without any further delay. So, first of all, you have to open your Salesforce or click on this object manager, open the account. Under the account, I already created that is text field, that is status. So, here you can see the status is a text field, so you have to create it. Okay, so this is the real time example how to use the enum inside our real time example in a day by day routine. Okay, so this is the first one. You can see this is the first step you have to create the custom field like status right let me open the vs code under this vs code i have created two class empty class one is account enums second is account status handler right so under the account enum we have to write our enums so here let's say enum right so enum for account status account status right so we have to write the enum so public account or we can use let's say status like public enum status under this status we have to write this one like active delete or inactive something like that okay we have three values right now you can give any value as you want so let me take uh, let's say always is the best practice so always provide the enum value in the capital okay inactive and delete like delete Right, so here delete. So now, in the error here, let me check inactive and deleted. Right, so you can also use deleted, deleted, something like. That. Let me save this class. This is the enum class, and I want to use this enum class in my handler class, account handler class. So how to use that? This is the reusable. If you have like set of constraint or you know custom constraint so you can define always the enum and you can leverage this feature inside the apex you have to create the enum class under the enum class we have one you know enum here that is status and status contain active inactive and deleted value okay this is the second step first step we already seen about the custom field that is status now go to the second class under this second class we have to create one method and method name it can be anything but uh, this method will be take two parameters one is account id and account status based on the enum class so how to do that so first of all let me define the method like method okay so public public and uh, it's never written any value so public is static void and here like update account status something like that and this method contain two parameter one is account id like uh, acc id or account id something like that right second is my enum class so my enum class is like in account enums so just you have to copy it here dot we have this status and then we have to provide like account status for example purpose right so just here and after that we have to write our code right so first of all we have to query it from the account so now you can see the query after that we have to use and we have to update that fields based on the multiple value like active inactive and deleted as we have in the enum so how to do that if you have like this kind of a requirement so always use the switch case right so let me create one string variable first of all like a string a status value something like that right and here let me create the switch case right so how to create the switch case so you have to write switch right switch on and that account status you know very well this account status so we have to write switch case on account status under here we have to write our cases like when so it's a first case like when and uh, like active then status value is active something like that then inactive and this all value but for now we have like active inactive 
and delete it. So let me remove all the values from here like this and that is deleted like or just copy that value from this class paste it here like deleted and make it like delete something like that right so it's a deleted you can see okay so this is the three case we have done suppose we don't have any you know value like uh, regarding this active inactive clause right so how to handle it so we have to write another case that is when else and when else handle the unknown things let's say status value unknown for example purpose and once you write this switch case right please observe this is a very most important here and this is the method as you know very well right this is the method here and under this method we have to update our value so how to update that one so now update the field value like this acc dot account that is the status field we already seen and based on this one we can update it right so let me try to save this okay so once you save it now our class successfully deployed here you can see this one right and these all uh, code regarding this one don't worry about this warning okay don't worry so now here you can see it's updated here and these all called related to that uh, account handler now let's see in, into the no uh, salesforce and let's see it's working or not so first of all we have to check this class using execute anonymous window so how to check that so let me copy this class name paste it here and having uh, this method like account update account status have two parameters like account id and account status so let me take randomly one id from the salesforce so let me open the account let's say account and once you open the account you can use any record as you want let's say s force so let me copy this record id paste it here because id is a string and status so how to check the status so status comes from this enum class so let me copy this enum class like this dot status dot active this is the first one okay and then semicolon let me try to save this and let me execute this one right so once you execute please let me show you that one thing so once you clicked on detail you cannot see anything inside this status field value right once you execute it it automatically update your value based on your enum right so just click on this execute now it's executed successfully go to the salesforce refresh it and then status field will be updated successfully so just click on this detail come down and now status value is active right so you can check cross verify let's say active based on, uh, instead of this active we can use like deleted something like that right let me try to save this let me click on this execute and this time you will be see like deleted status inside this record so right now we have like active once you refresh it then definitely you will be see the deleted so just click on this detail here come down now you can see the deleted so basically the main purpose of enum is if you have like set of constraint so you can create the sep, uh, you know set of classes or separate classes and you can leverage that classes in your logic or in your apex classes and that is a reusability purpose you can create the enum you can leverage it into the any other classes and then it's a very useful okay so please consider these things so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comments subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more update so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys